Hello and welcome to day five of the Corroda blog. The aims, we're going to try and learn some English, we're going to escape from our daily routine and we're going to try and see the situation from the outside in. My name's Mark Brophy, UK citizen, trying to become Irish and here's a bit of detail about me. Let's move straight into today's blog. We're going to look at two verbs, very, very similar. Okay. One is a phrasal verb, to take over. To take over is linked to control. Okay. So some people want to take over the world. That's to take control. The co-pilot in a plane takes over from the pilot. A takeover, this is the noun. A takeover is from business. So Italian companies are potentially at risk in the future unless the economy improves. Overtake, it's very nice because we move the words around. Overtake comes also from sport. Many Italians will not be happy to see this picture because, well, Mr. Hamilton, Lewis, he loves overtaking. Okay, and we use this a lot in graphs in business or here with Corona situation. So here Italy unfortunately overtakes China in some of the key statistics. Overtake, but will the UK overtake Italy? Here we see a graph, a comparison. We're starting from the day of the first reported death. So obviously the problem, the situation started in Italy before, but we're mapping from the beginning. So at the moment, following this mapping, the UK is slightly under Italy, but who knows what will happen. Key people. Today we're going to look at this guy. His name is Dan Patrick. Who is he? He's a pretty big, important man in Texas. Texas, south of the United States of America. They see things a bit differently to people in California and to New York. He's 70 years old. Why is that important? Well, 70, you know, he's in the sort of higher risk category. Why is he in the news? Well, here's the headline. According to our friend Dan, senior citizens are willing, meaning happy to die to save the economy for their grandkids. On the 24th of March, he texted Fox News. I want them, referring to his grandkids, to have a shot, to have the opportunity of the American dream. 98% yeah. of people will survive, he says, so I'll take a risk. He prefers the risk of dying to the economy crashing. And remember, he's 70. So he suggested that he, he believes he's not the only one, and other grandparents would be willing to risk their health. Okay, That's how strong he is. And he even puts it into words. Those of us who are 70 plus, meaning over 70, will take care of ourselves, but don't sacrifice the country. That's text. Here, we're going to look just at the end at the nice expression, a light at the end of the tunnel. Translates nicely into most of the languages around the world. A light at the end of the tunnel. It's a decreasing increase. Okay, playing with the statistics. A decreasing increase. Well, what does that mean? Here's a graph. I'm tracking the various provinces across Lombardia. Lombardia being the area of Italy most affected along with certain areas of Veneto and uh, Emilia Romagna. On a weekly basis, there's actually been a slow, a slowdown of increase. So the weekly rate of increase is slowing down. It's a light at the end of the tunnel. It still means more people are getting ill, but not as quickly as before. So for today, the summary to take over means control, to overtake means to go faster than for a Ferrari or to go above. We looked at Dan Patrick. Dan Patrick is this uh, Texas guy who is willing to sacrifice his generation to save the younger generation's American dream. And then at Lombardy, we see a light at the end of the tunnel. 
That's all for today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.